Greetings Tubaverse, I am one noob noob, and in this video I'm going to cover the most important things to grab in those free gem and vit based events that Top War has all the time. As an added bonus, I'm going to offer them up to you in the order that I think is the most important. If you follow my advice, you'll grow stronger faster in game and smush your enemies that haven't figured these things out. As time goes by, I'm making event specific guides for you, but I think that this video will help you out uh, with a general roadmap that you can apply to every single free event. If you want a specific event guide that you don't see on my channel, please leave me a comment and I'll add it to my list. In many of the free gem and vit events, it can be a challenge to get enough points to grab all the critical items. So knowing the order of importance will stop you from wanting to throw your phone clear across the room a month later when it dawns on you that you made a little bit of a mistake. Also, the items in free events vary quite a bit. So this list is a bit longer than what your options might be for any one specific event. I'm trying to be very thorough here and keep the time down to a minimum. You should start out with the game plan of what you can actually grab. And whenever possible, I recommend waiting until you get close to the end of the event before you finalize your decision and start grabbing things in the store. Items you can grab have two general flavors in these events. Flavor one is an item that resets its inventory daily. And the other flavor, flavor number two, is limited for the event. So you might have 10 and once you get all 10 of them, they're gone. Um, this little difference can change part of your game plan. So let's get this party started. Coming in at number one are the Universal Exclusive Skill Shards. These are some of the rarest items in game, and they make a huge difference to your hero strength over time. There are some great hero effects that you can get either for free or at a huge discount if you do a great job of grabbing these in every event where they pop up. There are a number of heroes that have strong meta effects that can make you strong in game without having to have them in your march. And also having a stash of around 2,025 of them can set you up to get one of the new powerhouse heroes up to their level five exclusive skill when they're released. And that can be a lot of fun. Number two on our list are the level five premium component choice chests. Getting your components to level 10 takes forever. And finding these will help you kick your component grind into a slightly higher gear. Just don't confuse these with the ones that say regular slash new choice. They look the exact same, but you can't actually pick the components you want. Now, why Top War use the same image for both of these? I have no idea, but I've made the mistake of grabbing the wrong one before. And I gotta say, it's a little bit of a letdown. Number three on our list are the Orange Universal Skilled Shards. Do I really need to explain why these matter? Okay, fine. Heroes and hero perks are kind of a big deal in Top War. You're welcome. Number four are class item chests. These are a critical part of the longer character development in game. When you first get the option to pick your class talent of Combat Elite or Mechanical Master, it doesn't take a lot of these to advance. I wish the Top War developers would show us just how crazy these ramp up as you progress. I'm trying to keep this video brief and on topic, so I'll just say you need thousands of them. And you likely don't have enough, so grab them when you see them. Number five is the Lucky Skill Shard Chest, or Skill Shard Lucky Chest, however it's phrased in the game. Um, this will get you between 10 and 1,000 Universal Exclusive Skill Shards based on your luck. Now you might be asking, so newbie, why would you put this at number five when you put the Universal Exclusive Skill Shards at number one? That's a valid question, and my answer isn't straightforward, sorry. Uh, just to me, sometimes the cost is, is just too high versus the random upside, and there's just other stuff I'd rather get. And also, these aren't even around and all the events and finally it's my list so I can just kind of make up whatever I want. The sixth most important item are those level three skill choice chests. It takes forever to get things like rare march, damage increase, and damage decrease maxed out. And the further you get in game, you start realizing you need a deep bench of well-equipped heroes. It's better for you to start grabbing these as early as humanly possible. Now the rest of this list here starts getting less common and have more conditions attached to them. So as I go through the rest of these items, please keep in mind their order can change based on various factors, like how far along you are in game. Lucky number seven on our list of our decor items. Not all decor items are created equal, but overall grabbing free decor items will make you stronger over time. I don't recommend trying to buy out all the decor that you see in a free event, and it's probably impossible for you, believe it or not, because I've seen like 100 when you can only really get two. Uh, but grabbing just one decor item when it can apply to your unit type or is universal is a great idea. Under the right circumstances, like if it increased your march, this can become item number one for you to grab. And then after that, change focus back to buying items in the order that I've listed here. 
Number eight on our list are perk books. Getting your hero perks exactly right on your maxed out SSR heroes is something that takes some time to re-roll in order to line them up exactly right. You probably need more of these than you think. While people initially dismiss perks on heroes, they become essential once you're deep into the game and fighting other strong players. In ninth place are purple or gold blueprint choice boxes. These aren't in every free event, but they are around enough for me to mention them in the regular rotation of things to look for and grab. Please don't buy the random ones because more often than not, it's just gonna leave you wishing you would have done something else that was a little less painful, like smashing your fingers in the car door. Like the decor items, this can jump up to number one for you, depending upon where you are in game. At number 10, we have power cores. You might not even know what those are yet. That's okay. These are deep in the research tree, and when you suddenly see that you need them, you need thousands of them. This doesn't have to be a brick wall for you when you hit it. If you collect them when you see them every time you see them, you'll thank me a lot later on in game. That's if you remember, I even told you about it in the first place. At number 11, we have remold blueprints. These do appear occasionally, and you'll want them very late in game to get your gold equipment into perfect form. So don't ignore these when they appear. They aren't high priority over the other items unless again you're late in game. If that's the case, when you saw them pop up, you probably did a happy dance just like I did because you just really didn't expect it. It's a nice thing. Number 12 are base skins. These actually appear in free events on occasion. When they do, look over the stats and decide if it should be your number one choice or lower in the choice setup. I wanted to put this at number one because I have this irrational thing for base skins, but they just don't appear frequently enough in free events for me to put them higher up. If you're strictly a free-to-play player, don't ignore when they appear, as some of them will make you a lot stronger in game. Even if the effect when equipping isn't all that great, there's also the holding and stock buff that's going to help you out no matter what. Rounding out at number 13 would be base effects, which can have great added bonuses very much like base skins. So don't just pass these up. If you see a box pop up where you can choose one, grab one. Just like base skins, these are rare and free events, and they can pop up to number one for you dependent on your individual circumstances. Hopefully by now, you've been running through this list and you're salivating at the possibilities to grow stronger faster in game. During the next free event, you might get upset that it costs too much in terms of VIT or gems to get everything you want. This is why I frequently cite my video on how you can easily earn 5,000 gems in a week in-game. And I always tell people to protect their gems from stupid purchases. I have that linked in the video in the description just in case you need it, and please read the comments there, as other really smart players have left some great additional information to get more free gems. Going along with this, I should also tell you that any opportunity to grab VIT capsules, like the world bosses that come up as a small example, they can be really huge over time. Store up your VIT capsules so that when a great event comes by that requires VIT, you're in great shape to grab all that lovely stuff in store that your heart desires. So that's my top 13 general guide for what to grab in order in free events. And I know the order is a little weird as we go through it. Please don't forget to pre-plan based on the awards that you see in event. Take a long-term view in what you grab instead of impulse buying what you need most, like being short on gold, oil, or food. You're going to regret that later. Please don't do it. It's just a waste of time. So what do you think? Did I leave out something important? I know that you all want event-specific guides, and I promise to get more of those up and running for you over time. This list, though, I think is going to serve you really well as you grow in-game. If there's anything big you think I left out, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, please take a minute to smush all the buttons to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for my channel. For every new subscriber I get, some hungry orphan in some random third world country gets a free meal. Okay, so that's not true, but at a minimum, you'll help my channel out, and I thank you for that. Until next time, Tubaverse, thanks for watching, and keep smushing your enemies.